Everly Joy, when I found out I was pregnant with you, I was still a child myself, 13 years old. I was told that I had to give up my teenage years to be a mom, but I had already given them up. I had already given up my entire life to this overwhelming feeling of not having a purpose on this earth until I found out about you. You have given me so much purpose, Everly Joy Lambert. I knew it wasn't going to be easy from the start. Being a parent is never easy, especially as a teenager. But loving you has been the easiest thing I have ever done. The first time I saw you, a black and white blob with tiny limbs, <laughs> the pieces of me that felt broken were mended. It was nothing short of magic. The missing part of me that I had longed for my entire life filled me up and made me whole when I heard your heart beat for the first time. Everyone will tell you that teen pregnancy is a worst case scenario for a 13, 14 year old girl. For me, it was an absolutely best case scenario. The second I felt your presence, I knew this was meant to happen. Our story was written long before I knew you, before you were born, even before I was. I know for certain that somewhere on my beating heart, your name is written there. It's written in bold. You were created for me and me for you. You came into my life exactly when I needed you. The moment that I started to give up, I got a reason to keep going and I am forever changed. Everyone said my life was over. I was 14 having a baby, but oh how it was only the start of my life. It wasn't just me anymore. I was never very interested in becoming a better person for myself, but becoming a better person for you? It was so simple. I didn't mind being nothing in life because it would only affect me. Now, I want to be everything, not only for you, but for myself as well. I had someone to become a better person for, a daughter who I had to become a better person for, a reason to work hard on my career so you can be comfortable, a reason to work on my mental health so I am the best version of myself raising you, a drive in life that I had never known. You'd think doing these things, along with raising a human, would make it a lot harder, but it only made it easier for me. If anything, I don't think it would be possible if I didn't have your face to look at when I felt like I can't do it and immediately knowing I can because I wasn't doing it for me. I couldn't give up. I had no choice but to push through my self-doubt and hardships for you. I have accomplished more than I ever thought I could in life because I had you by my side to keep me going. The motivation, the drive, the passion, these things I couldn't find in myself, I found them in you. I found them in the love I have for you. I won't lie to you, it has been hard. There have been countless sleepless nights. There have been days where I feel like I am not a good enough mom. Whenever I start to doubt myself, I am able to look down at you and see the amazing person that you are. And I know that I must be doing something right. How could I ever doubt myself when you have turned out so beautifully? I can't promise you that I will always be a perfect parent, but I can promise you that I will do everything in my power each day to be the best mom that I can be. Before I even met you, when you were just kicks, even flutters in my stomach, I wanted to be the best possible mom for you. And I tried so hard to do all the research to figure out all the right things. And I thought I had it down. These articles, these books that I was reading, they were about being a mom. None of them were about being your mom. Being your mom is so special. And none of these books or articles could ever capture even a percentage of the essence of that. You've taught me more about parenting than any sworn upon parenting method book or celebrity parenting guide could have ever taught me. More about life even than I had ever known. Even before you said your first words, you taught me so many valuable lessons, how to love, how to be strong, how to be selfless. As you grow older, I see the things in you that I had hated in myself once and I love them without a second thought. When you cry because you're too scared to go down a slide alone and you want me to hold your hand, so I do. I realize that the same anxiety I have in myself that I have hated since I can remember is something to comfort in myself. You taught me to hold my own hand the way I hold yours. You've taught me in so many ways how to love myself. Nobody thought I could do it. Raise you at 14. People were so critical. You're going to be a bad mom. Your daughter is going to have a bad life. I never replied to these people when they said these things. Talk is cheap. I could tell them they were wrong all I wanted, but they wouldn't believe me. 
so instead I showed them through my actions. Barely a teen, I pulled myself together and became the best mom I could be. Not for them, not to prove the world wrong, but for you. I am so proud of the life I have given you so far, and I know it will only get better. I am devoted to giving you the best life imaginable. It's December of 2021, and in just a month, you will be four years old. We just got our own place, an apartment, and we will be moving into our first home within less than a year from now. Whenever I found out I was pregnant with you and up until about 2019, I was so scared because I did not know what I was going to do. I knew I had to do something. I didn't know what. I couldn't get a job. I was 14, 15 years old. Sure, I could have a baby, but I couldn't get hired at a McDonald's. I didn't have a way to earn money to raise you. So I did the only thing I felt like I could do. Before you were born, I took up babysitting jobs. I sold so many things dear to me to buy you things. And of course, your grandparents took amazing care of me and you, but I wanted to be able to do it on my own. It's so hard to say this, but for that first year of your life, I had no idea what I was going to do. I knew I loved you, and I knew that I was going to give you an amazing life. I just didn't know what first step to take. The love I have for you gave me the means to support you, to travel the world with you, to go to the store and buy multiple things for you instead of relying on donations from family and neighbors. The passion that I have about being a mother, being your mother, led me to sitting in front of my iPhone camera on a May evening and telling my story, our story. I posted this video to YouTube my main goal was for everybody to see that you can do it if you're pregnant as a teenager. When I found out I was pregnant for another young mom to tell me that I can do it. So I talked to my phone holding you in my lap. I talked about how much I love you and how amazing being your mom has been no matter how young I had you. And I hit upload. That video went viral. I didn't expect it. <laughs> I posted another and it blew up as well. I would have been happy if just one teen mom saw my video and knew they weren't alone. Somehow millions of people have heard our story. I had no idea that posting these videos could give me a steady income, financial stability. As soon as I got my first check, we went to Target and I bought you a bunch of clothes and toys. Three years later, we're getting ready to buy a home, Everly. I get to stay home with you every day and share our life and I am so thankful for that. Raising you is so bittersweet. Making this video, going through all these videos of you as a little baby, I can't help but to feel like I blinked once and now you're about to be four. It breaks my heart to see how fast you've grown up, but I also feel like it doesn't do you any justice to see you as a baby. The size of your personality, all the amazing traits you carry, how big of a person you are. It's so crazy to think that person was so small at one point. It's like they folded up this huge, amazing, sweet, caring personality and put it into a tiny little body. I am so proud to call you my daughter. Even as a one-year-old, I knew you were going to do amazing things in life. You have this persistence about you, this drive, this passion this knowing of what you want. Sometimes it can make it really hard because whenever you wake up at 3 a.m. and ask me for noodles, you're not gonna stop asking me for noodles until I make you noodles. A lot of parents see persistence as a negative trait and they teach it out of their children. But this persistence, while sometimes it can make things more difficult, it is going to make your life so much easier. It is such a valuable quality to have, and I am so proud of you. You always ask questions. You want to know why we are doing things. And one day, as an adult, you are going to push until you have exactly what you want in life. This trait is going to take you so far. I am so proud of the person you are, and I cannot wait to see the person you become, because I know it will be nothing short of amazing. I hope that when you see me and realize I'm younger than all of your friends' moms, you don't see naivety, but you see strength. I hope you always know that you are a light. You are a strong, brave, courageous, beautiful, kind, compassionate human. Never forget these things. 
above all else, never forget how much I love you. I love you in a way that I never knew was possible. Your life made mine matter, so I will devote my life to make sure yours is the best that it can be. Becoming your mom is the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to me.